type a letter, press T, or you can click this icon, text tool, and click. And I tap T letter. Can click the selector tool, all the shortcut is S or F1. Or F1. Let's make it bigger. You can click with the selector tool and hold Control Shift to scale it proportionally so you don't want the result it's like this or this okay so if you want to create a proportional scale hold control shift on in skip okay and you can edit the text by pressing T just double click until you see the side legs and I want to change the font to you can download the font on link in description Now I want to type as letter with this font style. So the fastest way you can do it, duplicate it, press Ctrl D to duplicate. So now you see we have two T. Uh, can edit it with the text tool and select until you see this blue highlight, change it to S letter. Correct? Right? And with the selector tool, you can move it down while holding Ctrl Shift to make it align proportionally you can send the S letter to the back so click and make it move lower to the bottom now I want to modify the T shape letter and to make it longer so how to do it convert it to path first by going to path choose object to path Alright, now with this note tool, you see the letter have some nodes, so you can drag it one by one, but just make it precise, so I undo it, and you can, with this note tool, click this T letter, and select these two nodes. So while this handle in blue, you can hold control to bring it down. Alright, now I want to create some gap in here. So what I mean is for the S letter, click the S letter and you duplicate it again. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. And this time let's change to red color for easier to see what happened. After you duplicate, you can go to path, choose outset or the shortcut is control with close parentheses. So we press this button for letter. Just click. Now you see the S letter is increasing, it's increased the fill width, so we can press the shortcut, the control with close parentheses, or you can go to manually in here, but I prefer to press the shortcut, control and close parentheses. Okay, now in the fill and stroke tab, go to this tab and fill, let's change the opacity, so you can see the result. Okay, I think it's not enough. You can increase it more. Press Ctrl and close parentheses. Alright, I think this is good. Let's subtract it with the T letter. So make sure you click this S with red fill color and hold shift, then click this T letter and go to path, choose difference. Alright, nice. That's what I mean. This gap. Resize it with this selector tool, select all and hold control shift to create a proportional scale and I place it on the center. It's more nice if you want to change the canvas with 1 1 ratio. You can go to file, document properties and I change it to pixel, make it by the size and close right and place it on the middle can scale it up, hold control shift and also you can group it by right click choose group or the shortcut is control G you can go to let's give it a background so you can go to this rectangle tool click this icon or the shortcut is R and make sure you turn on this snapping 
so it's auto snap when you drag to the corner to corner of the canvas so let's try okay all right now we can send this background to the lower back so go to selector tool and click this lower to bottom let's change the color to this 90 percent gray and i want to change this monogram to 2.5 percent gray right and you can still hold ctrl shift also you can add some creation like adding text on left and right so press t and type font is the same the bruno ace can download in the google fonts and press f1 or the selector tool and hold ctrl only I want to duplicate it with the same size so press ctrl D and hold ctrl shift while moving let's change it to okay you can add more page to make another creation so click the page tool and you can click this create a new page and let's try some experiment with another font okay type a text press T and type Y letter and I change the font to okay the caps Y letter you can hold control shift to scale it up and press control D again and this time I want to change the text to H and press F1 or you can click this selector tool and move okay you can try to make arrangement until you find it's looking nice I think this good if we create the Y letter more longer so click the Y letter and go to path choose objective path after that you can use the not tool or the shortcut is N or F2 so you can select all of this note and well after you select it the handle will turn into blue so you can hold control only right I think this font is good for if you want to create some luxury concept logo okay select all with selector tool and hold control shift to click down the Y and H letter Okay, let's make some overlap between this. So, duplicate the H letter, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And I want to change some red color for easier for easy to see what happened later. And go to path, choose offset, and press this shortcut for a few times. Control with close parentheses. And don't forget to reduce the opacity to see the result. Hmm, I think this is good enough okay and subtract it this red H letter color to this Y letter and get the path choose the difference so once you're happy you can group them all right click choose group and let's get it down so in Inkscape, you can align an object to perfect in the center by going to this and choose align and distribute. So change the relative to last selected to the page and click the shape and click the object. Click this center on vertical axis to center on the vertical axis and this horizontal axis. So it's perfectly in the middle of the page. Okay, let's give a background color. Oops, don't forget to turn up the opacity again. You can go to fill and stroke color in fill tab and increase the opacity to full or just make it fast. This O text that mean opacity, you can make it 100. All right, with selector tool and move it to lower back. Let's change the color to more luxury color. I choose the Inkscape 
default color this pastel color and the color not too dark 90% gray 80% 90% gray and add more page you can click this page tool and click this create new page and the last I want to create my monogram type letter and uh, I want to change the font to right and duplicate it press ctrl D to duplicate ctrl D again and press T and change type to Y so let's try to make it sure so you can select all and click one more until you see this icon you can hold shift hmm, so I think I found a shape make it editable you can go to path choose object to path with not tool just do that some part this and this Let's make it go to here. I think it nice is if this delete too. While in not tool, you can go to the shape and double click to add a note, and you can delete this note and this too. Okay, let's edit it. We're going to path, object to path, and delete some part. Maybe you can add some this. And combine them, go to path, choose union. Okay, just for fun, guys. this is just for fun let's give some gray background color and I want to grip them thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye